Hey guys, welcome back to the English Gentleman Game with me, Roscoe. Thanks for joining me for my thoughts, opinions, whatever you want to call it, on Hitman Absolution. It was free on PlayStation Plus, so I downloaded it, all 16 gig of the thing. Um, and I don't like it, is the short answer. So you can stop watching now if you're waiting for my opinion, I don't like it. Um, the graphics wise, it's very, very good. I think it looks awesome. I'm not easily impressed by graphics in the game, but this does look really good in my opinion. The tutorial bit that you're listening to now, watching now, whatever you want to call it, is pretty informative. The woman does quite a good job of keeping you up to speed on what you're supposed to be doing. Certainly, I'm mean, presuming this is like a tutorial level, whatever you want to call it. According to ICA Division Chief. <coughs> um, yeah, so graphically, I was impressed. Sound-wise, I was equally impressed. I think the sound engineers or whatever should be very proud of what they've done in this game. Unfortunately, the gameplay itself I found a bit dull, really. The main reason is, I don't. I, I like sneaky games where you are rewarded for remaining undetected, whatever you want to call it, and stealth kills and such like. Now, the two games I always put to the forefront on this score are Tenshu, way back when, from the fucking PlayStation 1, and Dishonored, um, from I think October last year it came out. The reason why I like both these games is what I'm not able to do right this minute is actually go where I want in a level. This, despite the size of the area that you can see, it's actually quite a narrow corridor you're allowed down. You were about to enter and that's what I don't like. Tenshu and Dishonored. Tenshu to a larger degree actually. It was basically, here's a level, there's a dude at the end we want you to kill. Now, do it whichever way you want. You could go on the streets and chop everyone up and let them see you, or you could do what I tended to do, which was hide behind trees, use your grappling hook to get on rooftops and such like. This game, less so. You can don't you don't get me wrong. The you sort of interactivity, if you will, with virtually any item you can find lying around is quite good. But ultimately, the direction you take through a level is fairly well dictated, and. The objectives, well, the objectives were, you know, what you expect from it. You know, you're assassin, so you go in and kill people. Now, the point, you're rewarded, if you will, for want of a better word, for remaining undetected and killing them in a way that it's not obvious an assassin did it. So that kind of twist on it, if you will, I thought was quite good. But ultimately, what pissed me off was the fact that I could only walk through the level. There's no leeway that I could find to scramble over rocks, climb a tree, anything that basic, or I think basic, you know, considering Tenchu allowed it back in 1997 or whenever it was that game came out, um, this doesn't let you do that and it, I found it quite frustrating. This particular bit, you know, it seems all cool, you're, you know, you're quite closed and it's a, it's a tight environment and stuff like that. And I did like the, the tutorial, I thought that the tutorial did a good job of taking you through what you're supposed to do, <coughs> explaining how to do different things like chucking that wrench and can't you getting your, uh, what do they call it, the ballers, the uh, weapons he uses this dude, and stuff like that, and nicking costumes and stuff. But ultimately, it's a lack of freedom that put me off. As you'll see, I progressed through the level, whether I managed to talk for the full 90 minutes, I don't know. Coming up short, there's a tennis court, you can only go through it, you can't obviously, you wouldn't really need to climb over a fence, but then you get into like a little garden, and you can't even climb over a bloody hedge or anything like that, it's, you've got to follow the path, which I didn't really enjoy to tell you that, I mean I know I keep repeating the point, so I'll, I'll stop saying it now, but I basically didn't like the fact that I couldn't go where I wanted, Dishonoured, you can walk on the floor, you can hide behind everything like you can in this, but you can also get up into the buildings, lamp posts, anything else that will take you and skip through a level quite quickly. Now that to me is what a sneak would do but that's just my outlook on the game if you will. So I didn't get much further than this first prologue level unfortunately. Uh, I've chopped out my first fucked up attempt of getting through the greenhouse coming up. Some of the mechanics I thought were quite good. The way Obviously the disguises was an interesting way of approaching it, there's not many games I can think of where you can disguise yourself. Uh, and I like the, diff the fact that different disguises allow you diff access to different parts, so 
I've got to try and get through the greenhouse dress as a, a gardener. And then once I get past the next bit, the gardener disguise is no good. The and you change to another one. I thought that was quite good. But I didn't. I just don't see myself playing it. I mean, I've already deleted it to tell you the truth. I think there's actually a save point there, next to me that I missed the first time round. I was. That's what I was looking for, a save point, and I'm sure there was one there that I didn't actually, didn't use. So again, like I said, the graphics are very good, and the sound is very good, and this. Um, well, I can't remember what it called it now. There's a word like perception or something. I forget exactly what it was called. It's quite good, but it tells you to use it now. Oh yeah, instinct, that's what I was looking for. The instinct thing's quite useful, I mean, it does allow you to... It's a bit like Blink in Dishonored, that you can see enemies. But it also acts as a... I don't know what the right word would be, really, but it's like a bluffing thing for getting past guards who would not otherwise detect that you're not one of them, if you will. Because at the end, if you go through the greenhouse as a gardener, there's a gardener right at the end where you've got to get out this door. Now, I ended up just walking past him and bluffing it, but only because there's two guards next to him, so there's three of them. So you can either top all three of them and then you'll end up um, having to fight your way out, or you can just bluff past the one gardener. And I was supposed to be arrested, but I, that guy was quite shit then, because he should really have shot me, to tell you the truth. I mean, I like all this visibly armed stuff and whatever. That, that was quite useful, because Dishonored doesn't do that particularly well. You just hear snoring or you know, there's like a little sign that says unconscious or whatever when you look at a particular person but this kind of spells it out a bit more exactly where you're at at any given time. But this is about as exciting as it got really. Crouch behind a little shitty settee but I can't climb over and um, shooting people and hiding bodies. There's a, there's a knife I picked up, whether we'll get to that bit or not, I don't know. There's a knife I pick up and I, I couldn't work it. It did give me instructions on how to use it, but I never really, I just ended up pushing the dudes off a cliff, like, like over a, a little uh, balustrade balcony thing and then pushing them off a cliff. I mean, it's even telling you off for being armed, which is a bit strange because I don't know why I decided to get in this, to tell the truth. I think it was just to test the facts of how it works. Oh no, it wasn't. This is when I was trying to climb over it. Climb over that hedge and I couldn't. I had to fucking walk right the way around. Which is what made me start thinking, hang on, this isn't quite as open as it might appear. But I've done a few kills and that really is it. It, it doesn't change. You just basically, it's picking the right disguise to get through a certain area and trying to get the objectives done. I mean, if you have to kill someone, you need to basically hide the body. It's not, I mean, one of the things I liked about Dishonored was there was one of the sort of I'm not sure I can't remember what they called it like one of the skills you could buy with these rune stone things that you picked up was called I can't remember what that was called apologies but it basically turned all, any dead body into ash if you snuck up on them but you could upgrade it to a level where even if you killed them in combat the body would turn to ash and there was no trace of you being there but obviously that game's a bit more full of like mysticism and runes and gods and you know a bit more science fiction than this one I mean this is a, a leg I, this is what I was trying to climb over there to get in that bloody river and I couldn't do that either so that, again it's just the lack of freedom uh, irritated me you know to the point that I'm glad basically I'm glad I didn't buy it if I'd have bought this for 50 uh, 40 quid or whatever I'd have been a bit annoyed if, I, if I'd have paid 10 quid for it what you know off the PlayStation store or whatever then I would have I would keep it Although I've recently discovered that PlayStation Store does actually allow me to re-download anything I've bought before. So I can I can always re-download this whenever I want if I, if I was overcome with an urge to play it. Which I don't think I will be. Because Grid 2 is out a week on Friday. That's the biggest thing on my radar at the moment. Although unfortunately I'm not actually here next week. I'm on holiday next week. Yeah, I just push this dude off the balcony. How his mate never heard him screaming. I'll never know. Well, there you go. It is a game after all. So yeah, I'm actually away on holiday when Grid 2 comes out, so I won't be able to pick it up till the week on Monday, which will be the first time I get to play it. But yeah, I, unfortunately for the Battlefield fans amongst my subscribers, the chances are I won't be doing many Battlefield videos. I'll be doing a lot of... I'll also be doing trying out the direct upload thing, because it does imply on one of the trailers I watched for Grid 2 that you can upload straight away from on your PS3. So I presume it records it to your hard drive, the gameplay, and then just wangs it straight onto YouTube for you. 
So those obviously won't be coming with the commentary, so I have to try and make sure the races are quite interesting. So I would have, what other videos have I got to try and do this week? I wanna do I do want to do a couple more battlefield videos before the end of the week if I can. I will definitely make an effort to get a retro video up on Friday. But like I say, next week I'm on holiday, so there won't be any upload. I, if I get a chance to do some, because I've got an awful lot of fucking work going on between the wedding that's coming up in August and just finished moving all my bedroom upstairs into the newly converted loft and trying to move all the kids' rooms around and painting and moving furniture. It's not got a lot of time, basically. If I get time, I would like to leave a couple of videos scheduled for next week, but the chances, unfortunately, are quite slim. So that, that little yellow thing that appears quite faint, it's... One of the gardeners is kind of like looking at me thinking, hang on, I don't fucking know that dude. But because I'm dressed as a gardener, the security guards let me walk past. And this is why I have to bluff it a bit more, because that dude you just saw in the white, he spots me. So that instinct thing, you can use to blag your way past, basically. So I think it said I was about to be arrested. We just watch this a little bit. I'm sure it said I was about to be arrested. Whether it, there we go. Disguise, suspicious. So they're definitely onto me by this point. I'm sure it said, the woman's voice said you're about to be arrested or something, but I thought fuck this, I'll climb down on the sledge instead. And miraculously, the, the opponents aren't able to do the same thing and look round. Again, which I thought was a bit gormless, but anyway. So yeah, the sky's blown, but it doesn't actually have any consequences, it didn't. Because of where I was, I was able just to shimmy past these little windows and then get into the mansion, but <coughs> I've run out of things to say, so I'll end the video there. So I'll hopefully get a couple more videos up this week, and I will try my best to get leave a couple um, scheduled uh, for next week when I'm off on holiday but otherwise um, I will speak to you guys when I get back off holiday and start playing some grid 2 I'll just let you watch this guy getting killed because it's quite amusing and what the level of stuff they've put into the sort of non-playable characters or whatever it's quite good this guy seems to remember saying I think, uh, seems to remember him saying to some doctor on the phone that he's just avoided he's had the all clear for cancer and he's like this is a great day and then this happens. I was working out how close I could get, and then finally says, There you go, pull him out the window. And away you go. In fact, his mate doesn't spot the fact he's suddenly vanished into thin air. It's another story, but there you go. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. You take it easy, and I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.